Good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Hallelujah in the house Friday. Hallelujah in the house. Good morning, Sister Carson Willis, Billy Perkins, Kenya Roy. Good morning, Ruth Hopper. Good morning, Deborah Fuller and family. Good morning, Jackie Banks and family. Good morning. Ronald Liddell and family, good morning. Charlize, good morning. God bless you. Hallelujah, anyhow. Shelly Curry, good morning to you. Jennifer Newsom, good morning. Hallelujah, anyhow. Good morning, Sister Catherine Carter. Brother Walter Carter, good morning. Hallelujah, anyhow. Stacey Simmons, good morning. Welcome on this Hallelujah in the House Friday. Anita Taylor, good morning. Anita says, good morning everyone. Wow, this month, year is nearly over. God is certainly doing a thing in this earth. But hallelujah anyhow. Amen. Kim Dean Close, good morning to you. Hallelujah anyhow. I'm sure, Danita, you have a wonderful fellowship with your mother. Thank God for that. Hallelujah anyhow. Glory to God. Yes, ma'am. Two different versions of the song. Yeah. So, no, not my. <laughs> this version is, is by uh, the late Minister Thomas A. Whitfield. This was back in the 80s. Good morning, uh, Reverend Harold Steve Jones. Good morning, Deacon Julius Yelder. Dawson McLean, good morning. Van Fazen Tinsley, good morning. Andy Sesson, good morning. Evelyn Bell, good morning. Hallelujah, anyhow. Yes, ma'am, that was the old, that's a real old and slow version. And uh, this is the version that you're used to hearing on Friday. <laughs> Marin Bolden, good morning. Yes, thank God we made it to another Friday. Charlie says, asking for prayer for my oldest brother, James. Uh, he has been estranged from the family for a very long time. 
but he lost his wife of 40 years on yesterday. I still have to cover him in prayer and uh, his five children. Amen. God can mend those relationships. God can mend those relationships in Jesus' name. I'm, I'm a witness. He can. Hallelujah. Evidently, you like this this version better, Stacy, especially on a Friday, right? <laughs> Brother Harold Steve Jones said, "Good morning, Pastor. Thank you uh, for spending time at the North Virginia Baptist Conference. Amen. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. Good morning, Sister Hilda Howard. God bless you. Don't let your troubles get you down." Satan blocks your way. Stand right up and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Oh, see, 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 y'all folk don't appreciate different versions of music. You know, I try to play something slow to make you, make you, make you really think about, you know, giving God praise and y'all want something upbeat. Y'all want to dance. That's all y'all want to do. Y'all just want to dance. <laughs> Angela T. Stafford, good morning to you. Hallelujah. Diana David Small, God bless you. Give God praise for all of you. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Y'all trip. You too. You too, Maribona. You a trip along with him. Amen. <laughs> I got you. When you hear this version, you know it's Friday. I right, hear. Listen. Listen. Ain't no need for me to be no hypocrite either. Listen. When I when I get up to preach, I don't want no slow song. Before I get up to preach, I want something that's popping, if the truth be told. Amen. <laughs> get your shout on, Sister Rhonda. Get your shout on. Hey, Sister Juanita Singleton, God bless you. Oh, y'all coming on Sunday? Praise the Lord. All right. All right. We look forward to the fellowship, Sister Danita. And I get to meet your mother. Go ahead and do the two-step for Jesus, Charlize. Go ahead. Amen. And he all right? I tried him. I tried it for myself. Sandra Brown Cooper, God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah, anyhow. Amen. We do give honor to God today and to his son, Jesus Christ. Good morning to Celeste Thomas Riley. Today we honor the Lord. Amen. For another day that he has made. Amen. I shall rejoice. Amen. And be glad because of who God is to me. Amen. Constance Willis said, Pastor, I thought about you and your family back in the day with those storms last night. I was afraid to move around the house. Amen. The dog uh, uh, was on my heels also. <laughs> my God, didn't it rain? Oh, my Lord, didn't it rain? Didn't it rain? Didn't it rain, children? Oh, my Lord, didn't it rain? My God. Listen, I went to the hospital to visit um, Brother McIntyre's mother 
who's in the hospital. And please keep sister, sister, um, sister, her last name is Sneed. Uh, 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 sister Sneed, Vera Sneed, I believe that's her name is Vera Sneed. Keep in your prayers. They found a, a clot in her lung on yesterday, and, uh, and but but she's going to be all right, thanks be to God. Amen. And she's dealing with some dementia as well. But I went there, um, amen, when it first started raining, I went there and because um, I was going to, me and Dr. Jones was going to go to Little Forest last night. We thought that their revival was going was gonna to end on last night, but uh, Dr. Jones got there before I did and said, Sesson, turn around. Ain't nothing going on. We done missed it. So I turned around and went to the hospital to visit uh, Sister Sneed. Amen. And uh, and it was just raining light then. And then I got a call from Reverend Robert Beard because uh, Reverend Beard is in, in town to have a to attend a wedding and, uh, and he wanted to uh, do uh, uh, dinner on last night. So I went to the hospital, had prayer, sung a song with this lady. Sister, Sister Sneed, amen. She appreciated so much. Amen. I get joy out of that. Amen. And then we went to Cheesecake Factory, met him at Cheesecake Factory, and my God, it was pouring down like cats and dogs. My goodness. And so we went on into the restaurant until it stopped raining. Amen. But uh, my goodness, our phones were flashing with, with flash flood warnings and and uh, it seemed like that the, the lightning was striking so much. It seemed like it was about to hit my car. Lord, have mercy. Uh, but thanks be unto God, the Lord made everything all right. Amen. The Lord made everything all right. There were just flash flood warnings everywhere. And normally, you know, uh, a lot of times Prince William County, uh, uh, we don't get hit, right? A lot of times we escape a whole lot of that stuff. But Lord knows we didn't escape it last night, and uh, and I'm sure you know on that little t on that little road called Bakestown Road probably flooded out. Matter of fact, we got a warning that Bakestown Road was closed and flooded out on last night. Amen. But we got um, uh, another message that it was open. Amen. And so, but thanks be to God that uh, everything's all right. We didn't lose power. I pray that you didn't lose any power on last night uh, as well. Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank God. And, uh, and yeah, so, you know, there are times, you know, when you feel, you know, you feel like God is talking, you feel like God is speaking when it's storming, right? And you sit your hind parts down and you be still. Amen. And you respect the Lord's work. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Sister Connor Willis said, oh yeah, we had a terrible thunderstorm and that lightning. Uh, Sister Riley said, yes, it rained, thundered, and was lightning for a long time. Yeah, it was for a long time, for a couple of hours. Amen. Oh, and, and praise the Lord, you was able to go to sleep. How about that? Now, listen, that'll, that'll preach by itself, right? That even while you're enduring storms and floods and rain, you can still go to sleep. My God, that'll preach all by itself, uh, Celeste. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, Dr. Candy Edmonds Bird, God bless you today from Wichita uh, Falls, Texas. Amen. Sister Ruth said, I turned all the lights off, TV off, and went to sleep. Amen. Uh, Sister Stacy said, I lost power for two hours. Thank God it was only for two hours. Amen. Amen. Uh, Godfield had to cancel the football game and will play on the 10th. Uh-huh. Amen. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to preach that, sister, that, uh, amen, God will give you peace in the midst of your storm. God will give you peace in the midst of thundering and lightning. God will give you peace. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, even through the flood warnings, my God, your phone going off. Yeah, my, my iWatch, uh, my iPhone, my, you know, my iWatch was going off and, and, and amen. And, uh, but thank God, God kept us. Amen. And blessed us. Amen. Uh, Sister Candy, I was thanking folk, amen, yesterday who uh, helped me accomplish, amen, my dream of this doctoral uh, uh, piece. And uh, and I want to thank you for leading that group of um, uh, uh, the PPG, helping me uh, doing uh, this time, 
during that time of study, amen, that time of writing. Thank you for helping me to accomplish, amen, of earning my doctoral degree. I want to thank you. I was going to, of course, send you a personal message, amen, but uh, I want to thank you so very much, amen. The struggle is over. Thank be unto God. The struggle is over, amen. Charlie said I had to stop looking at the sky because I was scared that the lightning would hit my pacemaker. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> my, my, my. Amen. Amen. Oh, they're playing 10. They, they playing at 10 o'clock this morning. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Wow, they're going to try to get it in that early, huh? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Bird. And what a blessing you, what a blessing, what a blessing you have been to me. Amen. What a blessing you've been to me. Thank you so very much. Amen. Thanks be unto God. Amen. Now, I said yesterday, look, I ain't taking no more school. I ain't going back to school. Amen. I said that, but you know, listen, uh, that's just Sesame talking. You never know what the Lord will say and uh, I did say, uh, did, did tell some people that I will be going, I may take up a class at, at, at North Virginia Community College, amen, and if that's the case, it would be a woodworking class, amen, make me a spice rack or something like that, but that's going to be it as far as I'm concerned, amen, amen, but thanks be unto God. Thank you all so much, amen, who, who those that help contribute, I appreciate you, and I owe you guys dinner, <clears throat> I owe you guys dinner, a lunch, and I owe you Amen. We ain't talking about IHOP. We're not talking about Cracker Barrel. All right. We're talking about fine dining. PPG. I owe you guys, and uh, and I'm going to make sure. And so when you, whenever you in town, uh, Doctor Bird, let me know. Amen. So I can take you out. Amen. I can take you out and show you my appreciation. Amen. If you're not coming in time soon, if you want me to just send you a gift in the mail and you can go eat yourself. Amen. I'll do that as well. Amen. But when you're in town, let me know. All right. Praise God. Listen, my brothers and sisters, again, this is Friday. We made it. Even though the clouds, I'm looking outside, the clouds are a little gray even now. But thank God we made it. Thank God we survived. Amen. Uh, sister, sister, Dr. Bird said you actually still owe us two dinners and one lunch. Yes, I've been holding the tally. Lord have mercy. See, that's one thing about women. Women don't forget nothing. You hear what I say? Women don't forget nothing. Brothers, y'all can testify that women don't forget nothing. They can bring stuff up that happened 20, 30 years ago. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Amen. But listen, I'm just telling you that when I take you out to this fine dining, all right, it's going to make up for all three. Okay? It's going to make up for all three. But y'all women folk, I tell you the truth. Y'all don't forget nothing. Oh, well, let me say it like this. You remember what you want to remember and you forget what you want to forget. Amen. It's called uh, selective memory. Amen. Oh, I believe, I believe God has endowed all sisters with this gift called selective memory. Sister Fuller said it was a Moses moment last night. Yes, it was. Was it a Moses moment or a Noah moment? <laughs> yeah, okay, you meant Noah. Amen. My God, it rained. It did, but thank God. Thank God, you know. But on the, but on the other side of that, you know, uh, uh, listen, the, the, the rain tally for this summer was real, real low. Was very low. And so I'm sure last night, amen, that we're not in that drought count anymore. Amen. And so we thank God for that. Thank God for the rain. Thank God for the rain. Amen. Listen, if it did not rain, we would not live. Am I right? If it did not rain, we would not live. We must have rain. Amen. In our lives. We must have rain. We don't have rain. We don't have water. Am I right? If we don't have rain, we don't have vegetation. Right? If we don't have rain, we don't have livestock. Amen. If we did not have rain. If we don't have rain in our lives, my brothers and sisters, we would not be all that God has called us to be. 
So into each life, some rain must fall. But after the rain, new strength you will gain. Just give him the praise and be on your way to new heights unknown. And you will reap the blessings you sown. For God will see you through. Just keep the faith and learn how to wait. He will see you through. Amen. 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 So, and so thank God for that. Amen. Uh, no, men don't have selective uh, memory. Uh-uh. We, 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 we have selective hearing. Y'all have selective memory. We have selective hearing. We act like, we act like we didn't hear what you said. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let me leave that alone. Let me not put that on the Lord. Amen. Lord ain't got nothing to do with that. Lord ain't got nothing to do with that. Amen. <laughs> but you sister, y'all know, y'all know y'all got that, y'all got that memory. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Uh, Deborah, Deborah, Deborah said, and we, I, exercise that selective memory very well. See, tell the truth and shame the devil. Amen. <laughs> she said, it's a great gift. So see, see, I'm right. I'm right. Sister Fuller just proved my case. Amen. That women, you women folk, are gifted with selected memory. Y'all remember what you want to remember and forget what you want to forget. Then us brothers, we have selective hearing. We hear what we want. Amen. And we didn't hear what we don't want to hear. Amen. We'll leave that. We'll leave that just like that. Oh, Lord. Kim, Kim Close said, I say it's selective amnesia. <laughs> I hear you. I right, see, that sounds like something your husband would say. See, that let me know you, you and your husband are one because y'all can, y'all, y'all, y'all talk the same kind of talk. Y'all got the same type of humor. Amen. Sense of humor. So Ali said, this is why I love y'all so much. Laughter is good for the soul. Amen. 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 And, and, and even Mary Bolden agreeing with me. You've never lied, Pastor. Well, I didn't lie about, about what the women have, about the selective memory. Or are you talking about the selective hearing? <laughs> or maybe, or maybe you said I'm not lying about both of them. Maybe I'm truthful about both of them. Amen. Uh, Danita Tessa, I agree with Charlie Hicks. This platform lets us laugh, cry, dance, and shout. Amen. Amen. Because this is for the, the, the total man. Amen. Amen. Body, soul, and spirit. Amen. But my brother says, I'm going to share some good news with you. I've been telling you all this week that there is nobody like Jesus. Amen. Didn't I tell you that? That there is nobody like Jesus, even though one may consider the beauty of the rose, the brilliance of the sun, the splendor of the stars, the radiance of the sunset, the sparkle, amen, of the diamond, the spectacle of the rainbow, or even the entire rim of creation. Nothing truly, my brothers and sisters, expresses, reveals, discloses, unveils, or details the glory of God like Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. This was the sole purpose of Jesus Christ coming into the world. Amen. Willingly, he donned the robe of human flesh, experienced the pangs of hunger, suffered the trauma of thirst, endured the agony of loneliness. Amen. Tolerated the shame of nakedness, faced the struggle of poverty. Amen. Uh, 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 encountered the humiliation of blasphemy in order that he might reveal to us the splendor of God's eternal glory. I'm trying to tell you, my brothers and sisters, there's nobody like Jesus. Amen. It was Christ alone who revealed the glory of God's goodness. It was him who revealed the glory of God's grace. It was he, amen, who revealed, amen, the, glo the glory of God's love. It was Jesus who revealed the glory of God's uh, forgiveness. 
It was he who revealed the glory of God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Good morning, Brother Bernard Close. Amen. It was him, amen, who revealed the glory of God's salvation and the glory of God's promises. Let me tell you, there's nobody like Jesus. Amen. I'm just giving y'all this for free this morning. Amen. It was uh, the desire and purpose, and, 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 amen, uh, and purpose intentions uh, uh, of everything that uh, he ever did. Amen. It was the desire and purpose intention of every word, amen, he ever spoke, uh, every place that he ever went, every attitude that he ever expressed, every miracle that he ever performed, amen, every decision he ever made, along with every promise that he ever fulfilled to reveal God and all of his glory, amen, to a world lost in despair. Jesus earnestly prayed in John 17, 20, uh, 24, that his divine glory would be witnessed and for those, amen, who had uh, eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts to believe, and also minds to accept. There was surely sufficient glory in the life and activity of Jesus Christ to be observed. As a matter of fact, everything about Jesus was glorious. Am I right? He was glorious in his unusual birth, Amen. Having been conceived of the Holy Ghost and was therefore born of a virgin. He was glorious in his childhood, having wisdom far above the intellectual giants of his day and even ours. Amen. He was glorious in his victory over the devil during the 40 days of temptation in the wilderness. Hallelujah. He was glorious, my brothers and sisters, as his as he stretched forth his hand, amen, and healed the sick, blessed the burden, cleansed the leper, amen, assured the anxious, comfort the lonely, delivered the bound, and helped the helpless. He was glorious, my brothers and sisters, when he walked on the raging waters, fed the multitude from a sack lunch, called forth Lazarus from the dead, forgave the accused adulteress, calmed the roaring winds, gathered little children into his arms and blessed them, rode into Jerusalem, riding on a coat. He was, a, he was glorious indeed, my brothers and sisters, when on the Mount of Transfiguration, the fashion of his countenance was altered and the raiment uh, uh, was white and glistening. He was glorious, my brothers and sisters, as he stood before the high priest, Pilate and Herod, as false, false accusations, amen, was brought against him. Hallelujah. He was glorious, amen, when he struggled beneath the weight of our sin and shame as he made his way up to Calvary's hill. He was glorious, my brothers and sisters, as he uh, uh, allowed the Roman soldiers to nail his hands and feet, amen, to that old rugged cross. He was glorious, my brothers and sisters, when he hung between heaven and earth, amen, realizing that the great plan of salvation for lost humanity. He was glorious, I tell you, my brother and sisters, when he prayed for those, amen, who had so condemned, abused, lacerated, criticized, mocked, harassed, and tormented him. My God, he was glorious in his death, amen, for he, amen, had no remorse, no regret, no shame, amen, uh, of his own nor was any guile found in his mouth. He was glorious, my brothers and sisters, even in death. Amen. He was glorious in his resurrection, proving his supreme ability to keep his word to his people, proving that he did indeed have power over death, hell, and the grave. My brothers and sisters, he was glorious. Amen. When he ascended to heaven and sat down at the Father's right hand, Amen. There uh, to serve as our high priest, our advocate, and our intercessor. My brother and sister, he was glorious. Amen. When Stephen, who was being stoned to death, looked up and saw him standing, ready to receive him into heaven. He was glorious, my brother and sisters, when John, amen, who was exiled on the Isle of Patmos, amen, looked up, amen, and saw him standing 
amen, should I say, uh, looked up and saw him standing in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. He was glorious, amen, and, 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 and his glory is still being witnessed by multitudes who have come in contact with his saving power, amen, who has yielded themselves to him, my Lord, amen. All, amen, of all that is considered to be beautiful, lovely, attractive, charming, adorable, elegant, amen, exquisite, or even gorgeous, his glory is far more so. Of all that is considered to be thrilling, exciting, electrifying, stimulating, inspiring, amen, fulfilling, amen, or breathtaking, his glory is far more so. Of all that is considered to be wonderful, marvelous, spectacular, hallelujah, uh, fabulous, precious, valuable, or even excellent, his glory is far more so. Of all that is considered to be indescribable, inconceivable, uh, inexpressible, incomparable, amen, incomparable, should I say, uh, unspeakable, unexplainable, uh, uh, or unperceivable, his glory is far more so. His glory, my brothers and sisters, extends, exceeds, surpasses, excels all things visible or invisible, tangible or intangible, audible or inaudible, temporary or eternal. His glory can never be uh, increased or decreased, improved or impoverished, uh, developed or diminished, created or destroyed. The heavens declare, my brothers and sisters, the glory of God. The earth is full of his glory. Amen. The eternal city not made with hand is satisfied with the glory of God. The doctrines that he taught declare his glory. The miracles that he does manifest his glory. The, the blessings that he imparts bespeaks of his glory. The assurance that he gives advocates his glory. The church that he's building emphasizes his glory. The hope that he provides, amen, uh, highlights his glory. Amen. The joy that he bestows justifies his glory. And that more, and what more, amen, could we ever ask for? Amen. The more that one, uh, amen, the more that one, amen, contemplates, meditates upon, studies, researches, observes, evaluates, amen, and evaluates his glory, the more impossible it becomes to find words that justify the subject. Amen. It is a volume with no limitations, a circle with no circumference, a depth with no restriction. My brothers and sisters, I'm going to say this, no dust will ever, amen, I said no dust was, was ever glorified like the dust that he stepped on. No table was ever glorified like the table that he sat at. No coat was ever glorified like the coat that he rode on. No feast was ever glorified like the feast that he prepared. No hand was ever glorified like the hands that he touched. No garden was ever glorified like, amen, the garden that he prayed in. No cross was ever glorified like the cross that he carried. Amen, the most, the most glorious of man, amen, uh, uh, elaborate, elaborate construction, uh, uh, the most glorious of man's detailed accomplishments, the most glorious of man's, amen, uh, complicated, amen, uh, 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 philosophies, amen, the most glorious of man's honorable recognitions, man's highest academics, man's elegant, amen, exhibitions, man's greatest uh, uh, product, uh, production, should I say, all pales to insignificance, amen, in the presence of his glory and grandeur. Let me tell you, there's nobody, nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody like Jesus. Amen. I gave y'all a little gravy. Amen. Before I leave you with this devotional today. Amen. This is found in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Hallelujah. There's nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. I could put my kickstand down right there. 
and shout hallelujah. Nobody can be compared to Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, 2 Timothy says this, endure hardship or hardness like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. I'm going to leave that with you today, my brothers and sisters. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Listen, a few years ago, I was preaching, amen, in a revival. Um, and, uh, and in one of my free time, uh, 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 I had some free time one day. I decided to go to the mall and look for some running shoes. A clerk, she was about 17, 18 years old. Amen. I was at the counter. And I always like to engage with young people. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, I like to engage with young people. Amen. And, uh, and uh, I asked her what she was going to do with her life. What was her plans? She told me she was going to the military and then related what a recruiter had told the students at her school about, you know, the educational benefits, the promotions, uh, the health benefits, amen, the benefits, uh, uh, the ability to retire and uh, to retire in 20 years. This conversation was during, amen, it, 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 it took place, you know, when there was no war going on. But even then, I asked her, did your recruiter tell you that you might have to fight in a war? Hallelujah. She said naively, no, he didn't say anything about I may have to fight in a war. Amen. My brother says, all I want to say to you is this. The reason why so many people want to quit following Christ, and there are some folk quitting Christ. Matter of fact, the Bible says in the last days, amen, perilous, perilous times will come. People, uh, there will be a great falling away from the faith. People give in to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. They will even deny the faith, my brothers and sisters. And the reason why so many people want to quit following Christ in this 21st century is because, amen, we recruit them for the army of the Lord by telling them that God will give them a big house, a new car, lots of money, and even a husband or a wife if they want one. Amen. But we never tell them that they are going to experience conflict. Amen. Amen. We're always telling folk when they come to Christ. Amen. Amen. That, 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 uh, that he's going to make everything all right. And sometimes when you come to Christ, amen, before, get, before things get better, sometimes things get worse. Amen. Amen. We don't tell them about the, uh, 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 that they're going to experience conflict. And so a few weeks after becoming Christians, a few weeks after, amen, they come down the aisle and give the preacher their hand and supposedly giving God their heart. You know what? We don't see them anymore. Amen. They were expecting just the benefits of being a Christian. Lord have mercy. We failed to tell them that uh, they were entering spiritual warfare. We got to tell them on day one. Somebody can testify that, amen, amen. I, I'm experiencing spiritual warfare right now. And even if you don't acknowledge you experiencing warfare, you are experiencing warfare. Amen. The devil comes to get, come up against you every day to try to block you and, 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 and keep you discouraged and depressed. Amen. And, and, uh, and so we fail to tell them that they are entering spiritual warfare and, 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 and would have to, uh, and, and they would have to put on the whole armor of God every day and endure hardness even when, amen. They were receiving the benefits. Amen. Isn't that, isn't that a wonderful thing, though? Amen. Some of the benefits you don't receive in the army until you retire. But in God's army, even though you're working, 
even though you're serving, you're still receiving the benefits on day one. And the greatest benefit that you could ever have is eternal life. Am I right about it? The greatest benefit that you could have in Jesus Christ is eternal life. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for that today. Amen. I'm grateful for that today. Amen. That there is nobody like Jesus. Nobody can bless us like he can. Nobody can touch us like he can. Nobody can help us and hold us like he can. Sister Angela T. Stanford said, I searched all over and couldn't find nobody greater than Jesus. My, my, my. Hallelujah. Amen. Charlie says, I was one of them. I thought after accepting Christ, amen, everything was going to be all right. Boy, oh boy, was I told wrong. Amen. 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 And I'm determined. Y'all know me. I'm one of them real preachers. Amen. I'm going to tell you just like it is. Amen. I'm going to give it to you where the goats can get it. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all. Amen. I'm not going to do that. Amen. Because uh, God uh, wants us to speak truth. Amen. He wants us to speak truth. And that, amen, what we intend to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, his glory is super. I told you nobody like Jesus. His glory is super. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, super. Amen. Uh, God is super. Amen. Super abundant. Superior. Supernatural. Superb. Super eminent. Superlative. Amen. Supernal means that it's divine. Super abundant means uh, 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 that, that, that he's sufficient. Superior means he is the supreme one. Amen. Supernatural means uh, it's heavenly, divine. Superb means he's excellent. Amen. Uh, super eminent means, amen, uh, he is distinguished. Amen. And superlative means uh, 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 predominant. Amen. Amen. One might as well try, amen, to make the sun hotter, make the stars brighter, make the sky bluer, make the sunset lovelier, make the earth larger, make the ocean bigger, or even make the mountains taller, as to endeavor to improve the glory of our Lord. For what could we ever say or what could we ever do that would make him more wonderful or more divine or more precious or more faithful or more righteous or more powerful or more lovely or more understanding or more blessed or more forgiving or more dynamic or more ideal or more honorable or more vicious or uh, victorious should I say more trustworthy or more holy more satisfying or more compassionate or more gracious or more glorious than he already is amen amen my brother and sister put on the whole arm of god amen so that you may be able to withstand all the fiery dots of satan because trust me he's coming with his fiery dots he's coming to kill steal and destroy he's coming to steal your joy amen but he shall not have it in jesus name we're not going to give it to him amen somebody i said we're not Going to give it to him. Amen. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, let us pray. God, we confess that our efforts to win others to you, some of us have been totally, have not been totally honest. We have given people a uh, fairy tale amen, version of Christianity and which uh, the happily ever after comes in this life, not as a reward in heaven. People receive Christ for the wrong reasons and then we wonder why they don't continue following him. Forgive us, Lord, if we misrepresented you. Lord, have mercy. Help us to preach the same gospel Jesus preached 
nothing less. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I leave you today on Jesus can work it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah in the house Friday. Jesus can work it out. Do I have a witness that he can work it out? Hallelujah. Listen, I love y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. I look forward to preaching this Sunday. Next couple of Sundays as we head towards homecoming. I'm going to talk about the family. Amen. For the next couple of Sundays. And this Sunday, I want to talk about the Adams family. Amen. What's wrong with the Adams family? That's what I want to talk about on Sunday. Amen. But he can work it out. Today your birthday, Danita. It's today your birthday. Bless your heart. Come on, y'all, before you go, let's wish the need to tell a happy birthday. That's why your mother in town. Amen. You want to be with her daughter. Let's wish the need to tell her, y'all. Put in your chat. Happy birthday, Danita. God bless you. May you have many, many, many more. Gave it over to Jesus. Hallelujah. Gave it over to the Lord. He worked it out. He can work it out if you let him. can work it out. Yes, he can. Jesus can work it out. Why are you trying to figure it out? He already worked it out. Reverend First Lady Constance Cheeks, God bless you this morning. Have a great weekend in Jesus' name. How are you going to pay your rent all your money spent? Baby need a pair of shoes. Got a light bill due. Got a gas bill too. Telephone disconnect. Next word for your next paycheck. Tell you what you ought to do. Jesus will see you through. Yes, sir. Abraham had a son. Isaac was the only one. Led him to a mountain high. <laughs> Didn't he work it out? Lord, I pray right now for Ruth Harper's daughter, amen, daughter-in-law, who has COVID. Lord, touch her right now in the name of Jesus. Make a hole in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Curse your God and die. That's what she said. Don't sound like my wife. I don't have no doubt. The Lord gonna work it out. My brother says, I don't have no doubt. He gonna work it out. Yes, he will. Somebody can testify, he worked it out. Gave it over to the Lord.
Pharaoh, Pharaoh, let my people go. My, my, my. My, my, my. Amen. Listen, y'all have a great weekend. I love y'all in Jesus' name. We'll see you Monday. Amen. We'll see you Monday. Amen. For those who are members of the Little Union, whether you participate, amen, in the sanctuary or in our virtual space, we'll see you, we'll see you Sunday morning. Amen. Talking about the Adams family. Amen. Amen. Fifty-six years old. Years young, should I say. Danita, God bless you. Amen. You still got a lot of tread on those tires. <laughs> Amen. Dancing rap to this weekend. I hear you, Deborah. Dance on, sister. Yes, indeed. Tell you what you ought to do. Jesus will see you through. Hallelujah. I'm a witness. Yes, he can. Gave it over to the Lord. He worked it out. God bless you. We'll see you Monday. Have a great day in Jesus' name. God takes care of my alignments. <laughs> Girl, you funny. Lord have mercy. 